Roswell police still have no one in custody for the beating that left a father of five in a coma. And now a month later, the family is not giving up hope that someone will be brought to justice. Some of the swelling is going down in the brain, and uh, he's becoming more aware, and you know, he can actually see people. As of last weekend, 49-year-old Calvin White is out of a coma, but still at North Fulton Hospital. His two attackers, seen in these sketches, are still out among us. That's like a tough pill to swallow, swallow at this moment. It's been like a month, so. With time passing, White's family hopes someone will come forward with information to catch the men who knocked White into a coma at Roswell's Hembury Park Gym in early August, while he he played basketball with his younger son. We praying every day, everybody praying and hoping that something will happen that, you know, bring them to justice and see what really happened that day. White had part of his skull removed due to brain swelling and a tracheotomy keeps him from talking. His progress, slow but steady. We hope we can see him on the court again because that's something he loves to do. And his situation, creating change. The gym policies got a little bit stricter, so it's uh, less chances to happen again to someone else. We got cameras now, you got to sign the sheet so people can't just get away clean. Well, witnesses described two cars leaving the scene. One was a light blue Nissan Sentra with North Carolina tags. The other, a black Ford Explorer SUV with trim missing from the rear window. So police are urging anyone with information about this attack to call Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen, 404-577-TIPS. That's 404-577-8477. You don't have to leave your name, and you could qualify for a reward. The Sandy Springs police say that they need leads in a hit-and-run that left emotional.